Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This week's Around the Verse was hosted by Sandy Gardner with Jeremiah Lee. And there was a usual burn down feature with Eric Kieran Davis. And there was also a special segment on the new Stanima system. But first, let's have a look at what Eric Kieran Davis told us how they're getting on with the burn down. Well, first of all, Eric told us that at the end of last week, they had 94 must-have issues to be fixed. Now, they have knocked this down to 76. And uh, during this segment, they showed us a number of the bugs which they've been working on. There was one related to some graphical uh, artifacts uh, which kept rearing their ugly heads. And this was uh, related to the new fog system but by uh, changing a value they managed to uh, actually get that one to disappear now they had some problems with the outpost where when the player went into the outpost they would suffocate now this was because the oxygen wasn't flowing uh, between all the different rooms in the outpost and basically they had to use a tool from lumberyard to define the perimeters of the uh, rooms so the oxygen would flow correctly uh, between the rooms so the player could breathe. Now they've been working on the turret system. Now they've been having problems because the game doesn't distinguish between the normal seats in your ship and the seats for the turret. Also they've been actually implementing a new feature where when you actually get into the seat in the turret it will spin round into position. Now the developers told us that working on these bugs is very much like pulling on a large thread. Sometimes you'll have a good day and sometimes a bad day. Well, like us all in life. Now basically sometimes they can pull on these threads and they knock out a lot of these bugs straight away but sometimes they pull on a thread and they uncover some nasty bugs which will rear their ugly heads but they are making progress and have actually drawn up a list of things for the Evercarty to actually test when they get it in their hands now that won't be for probably a good while yet but uh, progress is being made and let's hope that when they pull on those threads, then continue to knock out these bugs. Well, I must admit, I like the sound of getting into a turret and your seat swiveling round into a combat position. Probably a bit better than that. Now this week's special feature was on the Stanima system. Now it was pretty much in depth and there was a lot of talking actually involved so you're probably best to watch the uh, whole segment in a round of verse yourselves. Um, but basically the Stanima system is, well, what it is, it's actually a very in depth and sophisticated system which will, well, boldly go where no game has gone before in relation to uh, Stanima and obviously oxygen or whatever atmosphere you may breathe. Now basically uh, in simplistic terms is first of all how they've made it work in relation to actually when you have to wear a helmet obviously in a vacuum or in basically a non-oxygen environment. They've actually made the helmet its sort of own type of room system and it's obviously fed by an oxygen tank in your suit. And of course, basically, if you take that helmet off, well, you're going to actually come to a rather unpleasant end. Now, obviously in the past, in 2.0, uh, when you went through the airlocks, there were sort of some basic tri triggers there, which actually uh, checked to see if you had a suit on. But uh, obviously uh, some people managed to glitch through 
in, well, their civvy clothing, and, uh, well, you got some quite hilarious results of uh, people floating around out in space in their underwear. So that's just the start of the Stanima system. It's a lot more in depth than that because not just the oxygen that is important, it's actually how you move. So you basically, if you go into combat sprinting, well, you're going to tie yourself out and basically you're not going to be able to aim your gun properly. Vice versa, if something unpleasant is chasing you and uh, you've expelled all your energy, well, you're not going to get away. Now, obviously, you're going to have to have sufficient nourishment to actually give you energy as well. And uh, as time goes on, this system will get more sophisticated. Now, this has been a major collaboration between audio and uh, graphical teams, as uh, the player will need to know uh, by visual and audio uh, cues how their stanima is depleting and in fact uh, we saw one of the audio developers actually uh, do the actual heavy breathing and general breathing sounds for the stanima system in fact uh, he told us that uh, at one point he was breathing so hard he nearly made himself unconscious so that's what you call dedication so there's a lot more to it than just uh, slowing down the pace of combat and just uh, making sure you've got your helmet on and uh, you can keep replenishing your oxygen now also in future they spoke about so uh, maybe they'd include the uh, well the essential uh, bodily functions into the stanima system so basically You'll have to relieve yourself, uh, well, fairly frequently, unless you want to do it in your suit. I think Alan Shepard had to do that, didn't he? Now that's it for the news this week. It's going to be on the slow side, as I said last week. But uh, I did hear some talk uh, on the other YouTube channels about uh, some game changer shit which is coming down the road. Uh, obviously, uh, Ben Lesnick talked about this, I believe, and. Uh, don't know what it's going to be, but uh, I'm sure it's going to be something big and something maybe which builds something. Your guess is as good as mine. Well, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Please don't forget to like and also if you'd like to subscribe, that would help the channel a lot. So until next time, wherever you're watching at that big universe, you take care and hopefully I'll see you all sometime soon. Bye for now.